welcome to another video. My name is Morgan, and today I'm going to be showing you my hamster, Lizard Hazer. So this is him. <laughs> so he is a robo hamster, basically. A, a roboski. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But he is super cute. He loves blueberries. Yeah, and so this is a laser taser in his full form. Sometimes he sits still, and so that's the reason why we got him, because he would sit still. And his nickname that Ashley gave him is Tater Tot. And he is just so cute. And my little sister calls him Grandpa Hamster because of his basically white mustache. If he would sit still, I would show you. Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh God! No, baby. Back in. So here I made him a giant Lego house. And he is just adorable playing in it. So over here we have the upstairs where it's just a slide. He hasn't quite found the steps yet. Well, he has, he just doesn't want to use it. There we go. Anyways, so with him back in his cage, let's get back to this. So here's his upstairs. He has a slide that he can slide down. Over here is his feeding corner. He has feeding trough and a little basket of a little food croissant. And then he has just multiple baskets of food laying around. I put some in the oven. What do you want more, baby? Anyways, here is his bed. The roof of the bed fell off for a moment. I'll put that back. It got the lid back on. And so, he has a little slide in his bed. He's got little feeding quarters. It just looks really nice. And it fell apart again. Okay, so hopefully that works. I reinforced it. Anyways, over here is the kitchen. We have the little oven, which well, he closed it. But inside is a little piece of food. And then around it, we have a basket of food. We have a little play area, which I'm not quite finished with. But it will be really soon. And then I'm building up the second floor. It's not going so well. So I am using doors and windows. But only because when he tries to get out, he will be pushing this way. And to get in, it pushes that way. 
So this guy just has to pull on it. He doesn't really understand how. I'll show you this cage in a moment. Yeah. So, upstairs what I plan on doing is building a living room. And hopefully that's nice. Anyways, this hamster just goes right there. I 3D printed this. By the way, everything I put in here, like this, this, and he's in his little hide over here, those are all 3D printed. So this is his cage, well her cage. And here we have her sand bath, and a ramp leading down to the feeding quarters. Currently what we have in there is her kibble and a vending machine of blueberries. Yes, so that was the feeding quarters. Next we have the wheel area and the exercise. And then over here, if I can get it covered, which is right over there, back there. I think it'll be easier to see from there. But he has this 3D printed hide. Oh, baby, sorry for making you. I'll put that back. And then we just stick a toilet paper tube in it. That's one of our favorites. And then we cover it up. So that then she doesn't actually know what it is. <laughs> oh, hi! Are you still there? Hey, baby. Sorry for waking you. But yeah, that's her cage. So I want to thank everyone for helping me to make content like this. Ireland is going pretty good. We're actually thinking of moving again in like a month, probably, but I got my own laptop and a hamster, but those are my two birthday presents and nothing else. Yeah. Anyways.